Welcome to the Next Move Stocks channel. Today, we're diving into a company that claims it's about to completely rewrite the rules of corporate finance. The company is Bitmine, its ticker is BMNR, and their big idea is something they call on-chain earnings. Now, they're basically proposing a world where you don't have to sit around and wait for some dusty quarterly report to know how a company is doing. Imagine instead watching their revenue flow in, block by block, literally second by second. All right, let's get into this. To really get your head around just how wild this is, you gotta look at this comparison. On the left, well, that's the world we all know, right? Quarterly reports always delayed, filtered through whatever spin management wants to put on it, and buried in accounting so complex it takes auditors months to sort it out. But on the right, that's the future Bitmine claims to have built. We're talking live earnings updated every 12 seconds. It's not a summary. It's the raw, verifiable truth pulled directly from a blockchain protocol. It's a huge shift from having to trust a company's report to being able to verify its revenue yourself. This is the real battle here, the old world versus the new. So here's our game plan for breaking this all down. First, we're going to touch on the problems with the old earnings game. Then we'll explore this on-chain revolution Bitmine is talking about. After that, we'll get into the nitty gritty of how Bitmine actually makes its money. Then we'll look at the jaw-dropping numbers from what's being called the infinite margin quarter. And finally, we'll explore the potential earthquake this could cause on Wall Street, at least according to the source material. All right, section one, the old earnings game. You know, to really appreciate the innovation they're proposing here, we first have to understand the system it's trying to blow up. A system of financial reporting that is, at its core, slow, murky, and often leaves investors totally in the dark. I mean, think about a normal earnings report. It's a snapshot of a three-month period that's already way in the rearview mirror by the time we see it. It's been held up for audits, it's been massaged by management to tell the best possible story, and it's tweaked according to all these complex accounting rules. Companies have these specific rules about when they can recognize revenue, and they have to make educated guesses on things like impairments. All of this just creates a buffer, you know? A layer of fog between what a company is actually doing economically and what we, the shareholders, get to see. And BMNR's entire argument is that this fog is just not necessary anymore. And that brings us right to section two, the on-chain revolution. This is the big solution to all those problems we just talked about. It's about moving away from just trusting these curated corporate statements and moving towards something the source material calls verifiable truth. This quote right here really gets to the heart of it. Blockchain capitalism. What they're suggesting is a brand new deal where the company doesn't just tell you it made money, it lets you watch and verify every single dollar as it lands in the bank. This isn't just some promise of transparency. The claim is that it's provable, verifiable fact. So what in the world are on-chain earnings exactly? Well, here's the definition. It's a business model where your revenue isn't coming from selling widgets or a service in the old-fashioned sense. Instead, revenue is generated directly by a blockchain protocol. And because these transactions are public, every single cent of revenue is recorded on an open ledger for the whole world to see. It's live, it's totally transparent, and anyone with an internet connection can check the math, which kind of makes the old quarterly report feel like a fossil. Okay, so how does this cool theory actually turn into a real business? Well, the engine behind Bitmine's on-chain earnings is this huge operation called the Mavon Validator Network. Now, to understand Mavin, first you got to understand Ethereum staking. Think of it like this. The Ethereum network needs security guards to check transactions and keep the whole system honest. To become one of these security guards or a validator, you have to put down a security deposit, and you do that using the network's own currency, ETH. By locking up this ETH as collateral, a process we call staking, you get the right to validate transactions. And for doing that important work and securing the network, the protocol pays you a reward in new ETH. And here's how that turns into revenue for Bitmine. It's actually pretty straightforward. First, their Mavin network stakes a giant pile of ETH to help secure the Ethereum network. Second, for doing this job, their nodes earn ETH rewards every 12 seconds. Third, and this is the absolute key, all of those rewards flow directly into Bitmine's publicly known treasury wallet. And finally, because this all happens on a public blockchain, you, me, any Wall Street analyst, anyone can go online and verify every single transaction. There's no black box, it's all out in the open. And according to the source, this revenue isn't just one simple stream either. It's made up of a few different things, all generated by the protocol. You've got your base block rewards from new ETH being created. You have transaction fees that users pay to get their stuff processed faster. Then there's something called MEV, or maximal extractable value. Just think of it like a validator getting a nice tip for cleverly ordering transactions. 
And the model even looks to the future, accounting for things like fees from real-world asset projects, with the source even mentioning BlackRock's BUIDL fund as an example. So we've covered the theory, but what does this actually look like in practice? Well, the results from the first quarter of 2026 were supposedly so mind-blowing that analysts started calling it the infinite margin quarter. Let's just run through these numbers real quick. First, the top line. In one single quarter, the Maven network reportedly raked in a cool $105 million in revenue. And that just set the stage for everything else. Next up, the number that really makes you do a double take, a 92% gross margin. Now you might be asking, how is that even possible? Well, the argument is that the cost of goods sold is basically zero. The revenue is just generated by the protocol itself, so the ETH rewards just appear without a direct cost tied to them. And if you take that quarterly performance and stretch it out over a full year, you get a projected revenue run rate of $426 million. That's a figure that, assuming things stay the same, really shows the massive scale this operation is supposedly working at. This chart right here really paints the picture. I mean, look at that. The vast, vast majority of revenue, 92% of it, is gross profit. The argument is that the only real costs are fixed operational ones, pegged at around $40 million a year for stuff like electricity and compliance. That means that once those fixed costs are covered, almost every extra dollar of revenue could, in theory, drop straight to the bottom line. So what happens when a business model this bizarre and this different hits the public markets? Well, Section 5 gets into the projected seismic shift on Wall Street and how it could totally change the way companies like this are even valued. According to the source material, the big banks are starting to crunch the numbers on the bull case. We're seeing price targets here from Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan reportedly at 53 bucks a share, which would imply some serious upside. And their reasoning is built directly on the numbers we just looked at. Q1 revenue that just shattered expectations and those nearly infinite margins that they believe justify a complete re-rating of the stock. And that brings us to the core valuation argument being made. This chart compares BMNR's forward price to earnings ratio to its peers. The claim is that with a PE of just over two, it's just incredibly undervalued compared to others in the crypto space. Now, of course, a simple PE ratio doesn't tell the whole story. It doesn't capture risks like protocol changes or crypto volatility. But from a pure earnings standpoint, this is the picture being painted. This timeline kind of helps put the whole story into perspective. And it all reportedly happened super fast. The Maven operation went live in December 2025 and hit full steam by January. That led to the big event on April 15th, the so-called first on-chain earnings call, where instead of a boring slide deck, they could just point to the live data. And the projected next step is a dividend payment, a direct return of all that protocol-generated cash to shareholders. So how does this model supposedly stack up against other big players in the space? Well, the source lays out a few key advantages they claim to have. Compared to a company just holding a crypto asset, BMNR's assets are actively generating yield. Compared to smaller operations, it has massive scale. And unlike an exchange, its revenue isn't tied to the whims of trading volume. And all of that leads to the ultimate claim. Its earnings are pretty much independent of whether we're in a bull or bear market, since those staking rewards get paid out no matter. And this all brings us to one final huge question. By moving earnings from a delayed curated report to a live verifiable data stream, is Bitmine actually showing us the future of corporate transparency? Is this just a one-off model for a very niche industry, or is this the start of a fundamental shift in how business is done? It's a pretty wild thought about where finance and technology could be going, but it's one that also, of course, carries all the risks of any new and unproven technology. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.